Hey, APGov, I uh, just wanted to give you an update. Uh, welcome to Unit 4. Uh, unit 4 is on civil rights and civil liberties. It's actually one of my uh, favorite units to teach, and I'm really disappointed that we can't do it in person. And it looks like with the governor's announcement, uh, we will definitely uh, be uh, doing distance learning for the long haul. Uh, one of the big changes uh, that we have um, going forward for Unit 4 is that because we're not going to be seeing each other day-to-day, uh, -day, uh, face to face um, one of the big changes is that assignments are no longer going uh, to be optional. So that is, that is going to be a big change for a lot of you in the last uh, two units. A lot of you have enjoyed uh, uh, not really doing it, um, any assignments, but I just think to actually ensure our our understanding going forward, um, particularly because unit four is, is a fairly um, robust um, unit, uh, we need to just make sure that we're engaging with the material and and I just that I just can't think of any other uh, kind of real way that I'm ensuring that you're actually at an individual level engaging with the material than um, having you uh, do assignments and, and me grading them and giving you uh, feedback if if need be. Now I try to pare down uh, those assignments as much as possible um, and so uh, I've got on the uh, unit calendar uh, as I'll actually switch to and you can you can see here um, I've got uh, the next couple weeks um, up and going but after that um, it's kind of uh, a work in progress um, but definitely the next two weeks are are in place and so the schedule that I've kind of tried to to abide by that won't be too overwhelming for you and will be practical is on Monday um, to have you watch um, a lecture on on some key information uh, for that week um, and then for Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday to have an assignment uh, for for each of those days um, and then on Friday to hold a live class a zoom um, meeting at 11 a.m. you can put that on your calendar uh, if you actually click on that link, it goes directly to a Google Calendar link, um, and it'll be there um, to remind you the event is posted also on Schoology, you can RSVP for that. And the goal of that is to actually go over um, any questions you might have from the lecture, um, but then to discuss the, the homework, um, particularly those two key, key fundamental cases that are for this week, Engel v. Vital and Wisconsin, Wisconsin v. Yoder. And then you're actually going to engage um with that information through both the establishment clause scenarios and free extra cl exercise clause scenarios and so my goal is to actually hold a class discussion um, on those two cases as well as the establishment clause and the free exercise clause uh, if you do attend which i highly encourage you to do um and we go over those scenarios please come having already kind of engaged uh, with that material and that way um, we'll have a much more robust um, discussion rather than, you know, you just coming and say, Mr. Patton, will you want you just kind of give me all the answers? I mean, I'm happy to to walk us through things, but um, one of the goals is to really get you into to engage um, and to understand what these um, two clauses regarding religion uh, actually mean. And then um, our assignments will actually be due on Sunday at at midnight. Um, now again, some of you are wonderful procrastinators, and so you'll probably wait till the end. But I would really urge you um, not to. I think uh, one of the consequences of moving to kind of distant learning is that yes, you can do things on your own schedule, and that has its benefits. Um, but at the same time, uh, the danger is that it can just kind of become, you know, school all the time, and you don't really have a good separation between. You know your school time and then your your free time and so um, I would highly encourage you to keep your weekends free from free from school um, that's what I'm doing with with my family um, and, and with my kids and I would encourage you uh, to do that as well and so um, again uh, you've got a lecture on selective incorporation um, you've got three assignments and then Friday, we will meet together live to discuss the lecture, those assignments, and particularly 
uh, these establishment clause and free exercise clause scenarios. They're really gonna try to test you uh, in terms of to making things difficult. Um, in the end, I think one of the things that you're going to find out is that defining these clauses are certainly, it's certainly not easy. And so in the end, we'll have a much greater understanding, but we are still going to be confused, um, but we'll be confused at a higher level. And uh, really that's one of, one of our goals. Um, so again, um, feel free to uh, reach out if you have any questions. Um, I'm kind of sitting on, on standby and just uh, looking at my, monitoring my email all the time. Uh, that's question and answer board. Just try to get back to you as, as, soon, as, as soon as we can. Um, good luck uh, this week and I will see you on Friday.